Hello everyone, this is the third lecture. Today I will teach you how to assign gravity loads and how to replicate the stories. And before doing this, I have noticed that the text here is too small. In order to change the font size, we can click Option, Graphics, and just change the minimum graphic font size to maybe 6. You can of course provide other values here and just click OK. And for gravity loads, we have live load of 3 kN per meter square and superimpose that load of 2.5. Before assigning these values, we need to define the define the gravity loads from define load patterns. And by default there is two load patterns inside ETAPS, the dead weight and the live load. The first one, the dead load, uh, as shown here, there is one. It's called self-weight multiplier. This means it's just the self-weight is included inside this load pattern. Then what we just need to do is to define a new load pattern called superimposed dead load. And we can change the type here from that to super that. As shown by default, the self-weight multiplier changed to zero. And we can keep, sorry, the, the type as that. However, selecting the type as that, we need to change this one to zero and click add. Of course, both way is just the same. Okay, now in order to assign the gravity loads, we need to select the floors. We can select them in this way. However, I like to select the floors from select, select, object type, and just click the floors. And go to assign, shell loads, uniform choose the live load load pattern 3 and make sure about the direction it is in the gravity direction and just click apply now we can select the floor plan in the same way we did it here however we have here another option called select uh, sorry get the previous selection and change the load pattern to superimpose that load and provide 2.5 and click apply and that's all here to to remove the values shown in the figure in the model we can click show undeformed shape and if somebody want to check again what he have assigned already we can click here the display shell load and maybe let's try to see what we have assigned for this load pattern by clicking apply and this is all of course here we have live and it's just the same okay what we need now is to replicate the stories let's check here the floor plans we have this layout from story number one to story number five okay we select everything in this layout I will put the 3d view from here from this button and go to edit replicate however now click the story scroll down and select the story where you want to replicate and click apply of course make sure about this one don't click it because if you click delete the original story number one will be deleted okay save now we want to replicate this layout from story number six to story number 14 I will put the story number 5 plan view layout and I will select those elements. Let me check if I select the correct one. Yes, right. 
I will put 3D view, edit, replicate, stories, just the same as I did before. Now from story number 15 to 19. Of course, if you go up on story, there is nothing. I will go down back. Okay. Sorry, let me check it. Okay. Okay, edit. Replicate before replicate, I will click the 3D view story from 19 to 15 and apply. Okay, The last plan, uh, plan view layout is this one from story number 20 to 34. We need to select all of those elements except these two shell elements. Let me check again. Okay. Edit, replicate story from 34 to 20. Let me remove the grids. Okay, and that's great.